I first heard boss ballad music when I was in fourth year high school. Bighaning bighani talaga ako. Bawat kanta ng boss ballad nun may kwento. In a sense, it was very clear that there was a mission, and the intention was really to be able to spread this music to more people, to be able to use this music in the celebrations of the church. The Jesuit Music Ministry and uh, Jesuit Communications actually just became a presence to the group sometime in the early 90s. The biggest contribution of uh, JMM really to Bukas Palad was providing it a home. I think the right. second thing though that was very important, the methods were organized and orderly, meaning we had recording studios, we had a marketing arm, there was a place to conceptualize albums. They would produce our albums, they would distribute it in uh, the various outlets. It was the JMM that uh, produced Tangin Yaman. <laughs> It was really JMM that helped us push the music. It was instrumental in promoting the music enough so that there would be other groups who, yes. would, you know, who would take up the challenge of becoming music ministers themselves. You could safely say that we wouldn't have been able to do all that we do without JMM. That relationship is very much alive. That's a very special relationship because you know, Grace is there.